Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade from macOS 11.5.1 on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac to get to the version 11.2.3 in order to sideload applications and run games like Genshin Impact again. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. It's possible now to do this in line. It wasn't possible with 11.4 and 11.41, etc. But it seems to be working with 11.5.1 and this is probably the quickest way to get Genshin Impact and other games working on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. The first thing we're going to do is to navigate to Mr. Macintosh's website Website. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. This contains all of the Big Sur installers. If this link is not working in the future, I'm going to leave a link to a mirror in the description. So please check the description for future updates. So when you get onto this page, you can actually click on the installassistant.pkg. If this is not working, for example, if you're using Chrome, what you need to do is to control click on the link, click copy link address, open a new tab, control click on the address bar, press paste, and then return. And then this is going to start downloading this install package. So once this install package is downloaded, all I'm going to do is to double click on this and then we're going to go through the install process. I'm going to type in my password and then it, what it's going to do is to copy the Big Sur installer into the applications folder. So what the install assistant.pkg did was move this installer file into the applications folder. We just double click on this and then we're going to start the install process. So what we have to do here is click continue, agree, agree. And then we're going to be installing to the internal hard drive. So we're going to press continue here, type in a password, and then we're going to let this installation continue. So after some time, this installation has now completed. And as you can see, we are running 11.2.3 and this replaces the macOS 11.5.1 we were running earlier. And you can kind of tell that we have these new relocated items. So these are just configuration files from 11.5.1, which aren't compatible with 11.2.3. So now that we're on 11.2.3, we can use the standard sideloading method. So if I just go to the iMazing application, if you don't know how to install this, I have a previous tutorial on how to do this I'll link to in the description. Basically what I'm going to do is connect up my iOS device and then we're going to click on manage apps and we're going to basically extract an app that we've already downloaded in the past on the actual phone. In this example I'm going to show Genshin Impact and uh, I have the 2.0.0 version here which is the latest version. We're going to control click on this application and then click export.ipa. I'm going to save this onto my desktop and then just give that a moment to appear here. So once that's successfully extracted, I'm going to double click on Genshin Impact. And what that's going to do is to install, which basically just means copying it to the applications folder. So if we go to our applications folder, we can find the Genshin Impact app here. I'm going to double click on it. So we're just going to log into our account now. So we're just going to enter the verification code. I'm going to log into the game. So once the files have downloaded, I'm just going to click here to enter the actual game itself. And this is kind of the, the proof that this works. This doesn't actually work properly in the 11.5.1, even if you decrypted the IPA file. This only seems to work on 11.2.3 for some reason. So this iMazing sideloading method is the only way to play Genshin Impact online on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I just want to give some tips about how to play Genshin Impact on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. We don't have keyboard or mouse control, so we have to rely on the virtual controls here. However, I do recommend using a controller. So in order to pair a controller, firstly, you need to add a compatible Bluetooth or USB controller. So I've added my Xbox wireless controller just by going into Bluetooth preferences and then pairing my controller. And so within Genshin Impact, what we do is we go into the settings menu here, we click on the cog, and then we change the control type to controller. And once I switch to controller, all of the controls are now done through the actual controller itself. Also I like to do is to switch the confirm cancel option because that is kind of the reverse of what the normal Western controller method is. And and then we can play the game. Because we're on 11.2.3, we can also maximize this. We can't play in the 16 by nine or 16 by 10 aspect ratio. We'll have these black bars for now. However, if I just move my cursor out of the way, we can fully play this game um, with the controller here. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I do have another video about how to install macOS 11.2.3 on an external solid state drive, which will give a kind of more long-term way of playing this game without affecting the macOS of your internal drive. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.